down and share with you my thoughts behind this video. So I am doing a what I eat in a week points versus calories. So for me, and I've mentioned this in several other videos, this is actually the fourth video in this little mini series. I will link the other three videos below and they are also under the playlist of calories versus points on my YouTube channel, on this channel. So you can check them out and get caught up on kind of where we are in this little mini series. But again, this is the fourth and final video. So my goal for this video is to track my calories versus points. So my main focus for this week is going to be calories. So I'm gonna put here on the screen how many calories I am allowed each day. Now I got this information by doing a lot of research, calorie calculators, I calculated my BMR, my TDEE, I use the Harris Benedict formula, and this is the overall number of calories that I should be consuming every single day. I am tracking my macros as well, so I'm looking at how many protein, carbs, and fat I'm eating as well. I have goals each day for that, and I will insert those goals here on the screen in grams. So this is my protein gram goal every day. This is my fats, and this is my carbohydrates. Now, if I go over any one of these goals, I don't freak out about it as long as I'm within my calories. The calorie number is the biggest thing I'm shooting for because as we know, in order to lose weight, you have to consume less than you're putting out. So my calories is really my big focus, but my macros is basically my secondary metric. I like to stay especially within my protein and my carbs. I'm not too worried about the fat because the fat that I choose to eat is healthy fats like avocados, avocado mayo. I'm not eating burgers and french fries and fried food. So the fat is there and it's great and I watch it, but I really try to hit my protein goal or close to it. The minimum grams of protein that I wanna eat each day is 120. I actually prefer to eat even more than that and I don't ever wanna eat over 200 carbs a day. Again, I prefer to eat a little bit less than that. But overall, I'm watching the calories. Now the third metric that I'm tracking this week are my points. I am on the blue plan, I get 34 points in a day. So I'm going to load all of my food into the Lose It app, which is where I track my calories and my macros. And then I'm gonna load all of that food also into the WW app. And I'm going to share that with you each day. So each day you're going to see my total calories consumed. I'll even share my macros with you. And then we're gonna compare that to how many points I ate that day. Now my primary focus is not points. I actually don't care how many points I'm eating in a day. I'm just curious how many points I'm eating to reach my caloric goal. And remember you guys, I eat a whole clean food diet. Most of the food that I eat during the day is healthy, whole, real food. Now I do have some snacks and things that I throw in there like you'll see throughout this video, but most of my food is real food. But unfortunately, a lot of the real healthy food has higher smart points than a lot of the junky processed food. So it's just the way that the smart points happen to work out on WW. But my goal every single day this week, Monday through Friday, is to hit that 1860 or less. And this even includes the days that I do jazzercise. And I burn a lot of calories doing jazzercise. So I hope that that kind of explains how this video is going to work out. You're going to see calories, macros, and then points. And we're gonna see where I'm falling in smart points, am I still getting a blue dot? Am I within my points? Am I way over my points? How's it all play out? It's going to be very interesting, so stay tuned. Monday. It is the first day of my what I eat in a week calories versus points. I'm so excited you guys. I started this morning out with coffee as always. Let me show you. So I brought my coffee with me. I'll insert a picture of what is in my coffee. So it is two tablespoons of the Chobani caramel creamer. That is actually three smart points, but it is only 60 calories. So that's what's in my coffee for this morning. And I'm currently sitting outside of McDonald's uploading my videos. So I usually come every Monday morning and upload my meal prep, my what I eat in a day, and then whatever video I put up out on Thursday. I have everything kind of preloaded and scheduled and ready to go. 
So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna head home and pop these recipes onto my website and then we are working out. We're gonna do some jazzercise. So I'm gonna show you my pre-workout, my post-workout. We're gonna talk about movement. So let's do it. All right, my friends, this is my breakfast for today. So I have one of the ham and cheese muffins I did in meal prep. These are outstanding. They're really good. They are five smart points. I'll put the calories and everything on the screen at the end. And then I have half of a cup of grapes, which are zero on WW. And then I have one half a cup of this Organic Valley cottage cheese. This is the whole milk. I don't like this one as much as good culture, but it's decent. And that is three smart points on WW. So eight smart point breakfast calories are here on the screen it's about 7 30. my jazzercise class is at 8 10 so i'm gonna go ahead and get dinner going i just thought i'd quickly show you what i'm gonna do so i have a whole chicken here from butcher box i do have a link for 30 dollars off your first butcher box if you're interested amazing prices for grass-fed grass-finished meats in general so i'm gonna go ahead and cook up this whole chicken and we're going to shred this up and make quesadillas. I can't wait. So I am going to add a little bit of veggie broth. This is what I have open in the fridge. You could use chicken broth. Uh, I'm going to do some salt and pepper and then I'm going to use some of the Dax. I have the original red and the green zest here. The original red is great on chicken. It does have a bit of a kick so I'm pretty lightly handed on that. And then the green zest is amazing as well. It's great on vegetables, chicken. So I'm going to actually use both of these because they're clean natural no salt no msg you guys know how i feel about dax i love them they have over 20 seasonings so check them out my code here on the screen gets you 10 percent off and free shipping so you see a lot of dax in my recipes because i love it so i line my crock pot with a crock pot liner Alrighty, there's my chicken it looks amazing i did put a little bit of the broth in the bottom kind of soaked the chicken with it as well so i'm gonna get this going and get ready to do my jazzercise well, since I'm gonna work out, little Missy here is all cozy in her blankie, aren't you, Lola Lou? Yeah, you're just so cozy. No jazzercise for you. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to do my workout. I've got my Yvette leggings on. I really, really like these leggings. They literally just hold everything in. They're great for a workout. So let's have some pre-workout and do our jazzercise. All right, I'm gonna take my pre-workout. I've got just, you can see a little bit of water in my blender bottle here. This is the pre-workout that I use. This is the My Adventure to Fit, and this is in the raspberry. I actually really like this pre-workout. I find that it tastes really good. It's zero points, it's zero calories. It really does give you that boost that you need. I'm trying to get you guys better lighting, there we go. It gives you that really good boost that you need to work out. I really, really like it tastes good it works i do have a discount code for my adventure to fit i'll make sure that i put that on the screen and down below for you guys but i basically shake this up and then i drink it about 10 minutes before i start my workout here's before so here's jazzercise these days this is our instructor carol in her home and we do everything on facebook live so generally i'll make the screen bigger and voila we have jazzercise on demand but with our instructors our routines our moves so excited and after i'm still out of breath so it was about 4500 steps which normally i get a little bit more than that but today's workout was a lot of jumping which for some reason it doesn't recognize as much on my fitbit but that's 59 active minutes and you guys it's 9 a.m so happy about that so after my workout this is what i have this is the beyond raw precision bcaa this is watermelon i've actually had the mango one and it's amazing they're all really really good this is 25 calories for two scoops i only put one scoop in it's just too sweet for me otherwise but this stuff is great for recovery gives you those good bcaa's helps with muscle re recovery water retention all the things so i just put it in my same blender bottle shake it up and that's what i have post-workout all right guys workout is done so happy about that i got some wet hair here i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day i actually am filming a couple videos today so i'll be back when i'm all ready 
and I'm ready for the day. I'm gonna film a couple of videos. I can't wait. I did decide to go ahead and have some kombucha, so let me grab that. So I decided to go ahead and have this after my workout. This is three smart points or 50 calories. So I'm gonna film and then I'll be back when I have some lunch. Right, guys, it's lunchtime. I'm starving, starving. It's almost noon. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. So I have my meal prep here. This is what I made on Monday. It's my first day trying this, so we're gonna taste test this. But there are my chicken buffalo meatballs with that really good buffalo cream, or cream cheese, blue cheese dressing, yum. My mixed veggies, it's really, really hot and steamy. I'm going to have these gorgeous organic strawberries from Trader Joe's and a Siggy's, a 2% blackberry yogurt. And this is my third water. So for points, my lunch is four points, three for the meatballs, one for the veggies. My strawberries are zero. My yogurt is actually, this is a full fat or 2%. So this is actually five smart points, which is insane. So that is going to be my lunch. Let's give this meal prep a try. All right, guys, let's taste test this lunch. Sorry, we don't have the best lighting, but look how amazing this looks. So first we're gonna test these veggies. So these are just roasted with a little bit of avocado oil and then the Dax, nothing but the ranch, which I love. Mmm, that's actually really, really good. I love roasting the mushrooms whole because they're nice and juicy when you bite into them. Mmm, veggies, delish. All right, now let's give these meatballs a try. So I actually added the sauce to the meatball um, before I warmed it up so that the sauce would get nice and warm too. And it's kind of in the bottom here. I'm excited. Wow. Okay. These are delicious. That sauce, that noble I got from, I'll insert a picture right there, from Thrive is amazing. It's got the perfect amount of heat but mixed with the butter and the blue cheese. Wow, these are killer. All right guys, it is snack time. I'm gonna have a protein shake. I worked out this morning as you know, so I'm a little bit hungry. It's 3.05, so look at what I have here. I wanted to show you guys, this is what that Live Well protein looks like. It's very fine and powdery. I'm telling you, it does not have any plant protein taste. This is it, this is the cacao. There are 17 grams of complete protein now that's different than regular protein complete is everything you need kind of like quinoa and look it's free from gmos soy gluten and dairy i love this protein it is one smart point per scoop 104 calories look at these ingredients they're perfection like this is the cleanest protein powder i've ever ever been able to find and did you notice that it has organic stevia not stevia leaf extract which is really really processed so i love this it's affordable it's delicious I love it. I have the chocolate and the vanilla and I order the coconut. So I have one scoop of that. I do have a discount for LiveWell. I'll put that here on the screen. You just click the link down in the description box. I have one cup of the Great Value Unsweetened Almond Milk. I picked this one up just because there are no natural flavors. So I have that. And then you guys know I've been loving the Lakanto No Sugar Added Peanut Butter Powder. This is sweetened with monk fruit. And again, we have really, really good ingredients. There's nothing questionable in there. You can have two scoops or two tablespoons, I should say, for one smart point. So I bought that off of the Lakanto website. I'm sure you could get this on Thrive and maybe even Nutrition, which are both linked down below. And then I have half of a frozen banana. So let's blend her up. All right, I ended up adding a couple of ice cubes as well, but look at that. All right, look at this, you guys. It's literally like a chocolate peanut butter milkshake. This seriously tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's that good, and it is only three points. One for the almond milk, one for the peanut butter powder, and one for the protein powder. Definitely pick this up. You're gonna be seeing a lot of Live Well this week. All right, here's my dinner. So here is my quesadilla from the pulled chicken from the crock pot with some of the siete queso. And then I have some sour cream. It's my favorite good culture, full fat sour cream. I have some asparagus here. I do count this as one point just because I did put avocado oil on it. So it's one for the asparagus two for the tortilla, two for the sour cream, and one for the queso. So this is five, six smart points 
for my dinner. So here is dessert for tonight. This is the last thing that I'll be having. This is the Cleo Bar in vanilla. These are absolutely delicious. This is what they look like. It's basically a Greek yogurt bar. You find these in the aisle with the regular yogurts. They are only 140 calories, but they are six smart points. This is one of the things I struggle with on WW, but that's what I'm gonna be having for dessert for tonight. And like I said, that rounds out my day. So now I'm gonna show you my calories, macros, and points for the day. All right, so here are my calories for the day, 1,846. So you see that negative 696, that means that the app is recognizing that I earned 696 calories by doing my jazzercise workout. I don't usually eat those because I technically eat those on my splurge day. So it is saying that I still actually have 710 left, but my caloric goal every single day is that blue number right there, 1860. So I'm pretty much right there. So you can see that I've tracked my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, even my dessert is in there. And then my snacks was my protein powder and my kombucha. So then if you slide over at the top here, it'll give you the macros. So I did 37% fat, 36% carbs, and 27% protein. So the reason that I'm not at this little line here is because I didn't eat all my calories due to exercise. So that's why you don't see it brought completely over. So now if we look at my macros, I ate 127 point five grams of protein and my goal is 150. Now I'm happy with 120, but I do like to try to hit 150. So I was a little bit short of my protein goal today. And then my carbohydrates, I was 173.5 out of 175. So that's pretty darn perfection. And then my fat, I was actually over 16 grams. I don't really know how that happened. I looked through everything I ate today and I guess I'd have to manually do the math, but that's okay. I'm okay going a little bit over in my fat because what I ate today was healthy fat. So that is kind of how the Lose It app works. So today was a big success. The only difference is maybe adding in a little bit more protein. So here is my day in the WW app. So I used 43 out of 34 smart points. So I was actually nine points over but technically quite a bit counting exercise under my caloric goal, but even a little bit under my regular daily goal without working out. So it's interesting to see how it all plays out in the WW app. So my breakfast was 11 smart points, my lunch was nine, my dinner was 17, and that was because those Cleo bars are only, are only 140 calories but are six smart points, and snacks today was six points because they even count my kombucha as three points even though it's 50 calories. So interesting on day one of this little experiment. So that finishes out Monday. Interesting that I was below calorie goal, but way over in smart points. I have a feeling that may be the trend of the entire week, but we shall see. So I'm going to hop in the shower, watch a little TV and hit the hay and I'll see you guys in the morning. breakfast on repeat again today same thing as I had yesterday so I have one half of a cup or 110 grams of cottage cheese for three points my ham and cheese muffin which I am obsessed with for five points half of a cup of grapes for zero water number one of the day I think I drank like six or seven of these yesterday so I got my water in so my breakfast is eight smart points total and I'll pop the calories here on the screen for you Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. It is about 9.15. I've been kind of working all day today. Look, <laughs> I am cleaning house today. Tuesday is my clean house. I have my bedding going. I had breakfast, as you saw. I'm actually going to have a snack. I'm gonna do the coconut and almond built bar. This one tastes like an almond joy. It's one of my very, very favorites. 
I'll put my code here on the screen for 10% off. If you're new to Built Bar, there's a special code down below for you that you actually get $10 off. So take advantage of that. And then I'm also going to sip on some kombucha as I clean and things as well today. So it's going well, moving right along. So I'm gonna do some cleaning and I'll be back when I have some lunch. All right, it's lunchtime, it's 11.30. Uh, I'm having lunch on repeat from yesterday. My meal prep of the buffalo chicken meatballs, roasted veggies, and I'm going to have some strawberries on the side today because I'm saving yogurt for dessert. So I'm gonna take this outside with my water and have some lunch. Right, so we're outside. Not the nicest day in the world. Overcast, but it's not raining anymore. Diesel's out here, Will is out here. So for lunch, you guys know my meal prep. Three points for the chicken meatballs, one point for the veggies makes four, and then zero for strawberries, zero for water. So this is actually only a four smart point lunch. So this just came in the mail. I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to give Troy, my husband, for Father's Day. I'm really excited about this. Now he's a man, so he doesn't have a purse. He doesn't carry a lot with him. It's very, very simple for him. He just likes to have a few credit cards and some cash on hand. So this is the Exter Smart Wallet. So this is the very first smart wallet in the world, essentially. And this is the Parliament Wallet that I got. And it is kind of like a taupey blush color, I would say. It's not pink, it's more taupe. So this is what the inside of the wallet looks like. I'm gonna put in some credit cards and some cash and kind of show you what this looks like. So it's perfect for him because there's two cards here on the left side and then this little band here holds his cash, which he doesn't ever carry a ton of cash anyways. I would say maybe you could fit four or five bills right here and then two credit cards right here. But I love this feature of this wallet. So there's a little pocket right here, like a little slit. So in the little slit, I just added some more cards. So check this out, you guys. This is what I really, truly loved about this wallet. If you click this little button at the bottom, watch the magic. So we're gonna click this and look, all the cards float to the top. So I'd recommend putting the cards you use the most in the back, but look, they do not come out. And even if I removed, let's say, I don't know, two of the four cards that I put in there, they still don't come out and I love that. So it's really cool. It's great for minimalists, like a man who doesn't want to carry a lot with him. He can hold a couple cards here, some cash, and then four or five additional cards in the top. And then you just click this button to pop the cards up. But what I really love about this is it comes with, or you can purchase the tracking device. So this is the device that will actually track your wallet. So that's what makes this a smart wallet. And this right here is why I got this wallet. So that that actually goes in this back little pouch of the wallet. So you're gonna go ahead and slide it in just like that. And now you guys, your wallet has a tracking device. Super simple, you're just download an app. So this is the app right here, Chipolo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that installed. And then essentially we'll be able to ring our wallet and find it. So if we ever lose it, it's easy for us to find. I just think it's beautiful. It's made from Italian leather. It's very sleek and small. I thought that he would love it. But this feature of this app, I think is really the coolest part of this whole wallet. Okay, so once you download the app, now your tracker card is in the wallet. You just simply click the ring to find. Can you hear that? So it is ringing his wallet. I love that you can make it stop ringing. It is pretty awesome. So that way your husband or you always know where your wallet is. I just think it's pretty awesome. It comes in this really nice packaging and then the packaging for the tracker card. So I love it. I'm so excited. He's going to love this. It comes in six different colors. They're all leather, super, super affordable as well. So with Father's Day coming, great gift idea, birthday gift for the man or minimalist woman in your life. This is great for travel too, because you don't have to carry a bulky wallet or purse. So I can't wait to give this to him. I think he's going to absolutely love it. I will link this down below for you guys, as well as a 15% off discount code that they gave me to share with you. So I will link all of that down below for you guys. I love it. I think, like I said, it's a great gift. I think it comes very well packaged, very pretty. And I think, 
excited to give this to Troy for Father's Day. Well, Dog Father's Day. You know what time it is. It is three o'clock. I'm hungry. I just finished cleaning my house. I'm currently at like 6,000 steps from cleaning my house. So I'm in need of a protein shake. So I'm gonna change them up throughout the week to give you guys some ideas. So today we're gonna use just the traditional Great Value Unsweetened Almond Milk, one cup of that. Today I'm gonna do the Vanilla Live Well. You guys know, I love this. So I love the chocolate, I love the vanilla. I actually love all of them. The coconut is really, really good as well. Again, I will link Live Well down below for you guys. One point per scoop and it's the cleanest, best tasting protein powder. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of these frozen organic blueberries, half a frozen banana, and I have a little bit of kale here frozen in a bag. We're gonna use that up. So that's gonna be today's protein shake, AKA smoothie. Here it is. We've got blueberries, half the banana, some kale, and some amazing protein powder. I'm gonna make my smoothie. Look how pretty she is. All right, so the breakdown on this is pretty similar to yesterday. It is obviously zero for the blueberries, the banana and the kale. I do not count blended fruit. So it is one point for the almond milk, one point for the protein powder, two points, you guys. Doesn't this look delicious? Today, I'm not being fancy and I'm just gonna drink it in the magic bullet cup. All right, guys, here's dinner. I made a salad and I wanted to show you guys my dressing because I get a lot of questions. So I have about two cups of baby spinach. I also have, you can see them there, about a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds. I have a lot of blue cheese kind of in the bottom there. There you go. Blue cheese crumbles. I have one serving of that for four points. The pumpkin seeds are one point. I have some chicken here. This is the whole chicken that I cooked in the crock pot yesterday that we made the quesadillas out of. So there's actually points because it is a mix or a dark and white meat. So I will put the points here on the screen at the end for the salad. I have strawberries. And then this is the vinaigrette that I make. It's delicious. So it is on my website, but I thought I'd show you guys really quick what's in it. So you need one teaspoon of oil of your choice, one teaspoon, to two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar, about a teaspoon of spicy brown mustard. You can even use stone ground mustard, salt and pepper. You mix it up in a little bowl here and you have a clean salad dressing that is so delicious and it's only two smart points for the dressing. You can't beat that at all. So my points will be here on the screen for the salad and then I'll show you dessert and we'll go over the calories, macros, and smart points for today. So this is gonna be my dessert for tonight. I'm gonna have one of the Siggy's full fat 4% yogurts in mixed berry. I love these. They're so good. They're 130 calories a piece. It's so good. So I'm gonna have that, and then I'm gonna to top it with one tablespoon of these Enjoy Life Mega Chunks, semi-sweet chocolate chunks. These are super, super good. These have really, really clean ingredients. There's literally just four ingredients in here, and they have none of the top nine allergies. So they're actually a really good product. They taste really, really good. So I'll do one tablespoon of those. That is four points. And then the Siggy's is five points, even though it's only 130 calories because it's full fat dairy. All right, so here is today's Tracker Tuesday. So at a total of 1,888 calories, my budget is 1,860. So I was about 28 calories over, which I'm totally fine with that. My exercise, it says I earned 171 calories. That exercise was cleaning my house. Like I mentioned yesterday, I generally don't use that. So here is kind of how everything was tracked out. And yesterday I didn't share with you guys, but breakfast total calories, coffee and breakfast was 424. And the lunch was 528. That also included the Bilt Bar that I had as a morning snack. And then my dinner was 660 calories. My, or dinner and dessert and snacks was 276. So that's how my day played out there. Now we'll slide over and take a look at macros. So here are my macros for today. So it looks like 36% fat, 34 carbs, and 30 protein. So I did really well on protein. My carbs are outstanding. That's really low for carbs. So I did 142.8 out of 150 grams of protein, which is perfection. I did 159.4 out of 175 grams of carbs. So also under there, which is great. And then my fat was 77.1 out of 63 over 14.1 grams. Like I've mentioned before, I actually don't really care that much about my fat. 
it's more my carbs and really hitting that protein goal of at least 120 grams at least. So I'm really happy with how things turned out calorically. Let's look at the WW app. All right, guys, so here is my points tracked in the WW app. You can see that I got a blue dot, but I used 41 out of 34 points. So if you remember, yesterday I used 43, today I used 41. So I am over quite substantially. My goal, my, or my points are 34. So I'm seven over today and I was like nine over yesterday. But my breakfast was nine points, my lunch was 14. My dinner was 13, my snacks were eight. So I'm still ending up over in points. So that was kind of how today ended. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, Wednesday. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Thought I'd hop on here first thing. I just got up. It's like 6.04 and you know what has to happen first thing? coffee. So I'm going to make some coffee, but I just want to hop on and wish you guys a happy Wednesday. I have quite a busy day today. I have a lot of work to do. And then I think we're going to venture out and we're going to go to TJ Maxx. We may go to Hobby Lobby. We'll just kind of see where the day takes us. So first things first, coffee. <music> So you saw I used that silk sweet cream today. I uh, count that as two smart points and it is 50 calories. So coffee check. Now I think two other household members need a little something first thing this morning. You need something. You need something this morning. Is this it? Okay. Good morning. Good morning, babies. All right. Does this look familiar or what? Day three of the same breakfast. This is what happens when you meal prep. I eat my meal prep every single week. So I generally have it at least three days in a row. Now Thursday and Friday are a little different just because I'm usually out and about in the morning. But today's Wednesday and I'm having my breakfast on repeat. So I have about a half of a cup of my black grapes, one of my ham and cheese muffins and half a cup of good culture. Finally, cottage cheese. So again, five and three. So this breakfast is eight points and water water number one so i'm going to eat this breakfast because we're going to work out jazzercise at 8 10 it's currently 7 35. already it's jazzercise time we've got five minutes before class starts i wanted to show you guys that i'm wearing that green mesh yvette bra that i showed you guys in my what i eat in a day that was posted last week I'll let you guys know after my workout how this does for support. It is so freaking cute. So I'm going to go work out and I'll see you guys in an hour. I thought real quick, I've got a couple of minutes here. She's not quite live on Facebook. This is my fun quarantine setup. So my husband usually parks here. So I have this whole area of my garage, this part full of stuff, this area of my garage to do my workout, which is great. So I put my little computer up on this CD holder and then over here I'll throw my water and then I've got my weights because we always do weights at Jazzercise so that's my setup hey it works so he was with me my whole workout Bubba Squeeze hi buddy I love you he just likes to be out here with me sleeping on the cold concrete floor all right guys look at that sweaty mess I actually took my shirt off during the workout and just did my workout in my sports bra because this shirt is just like the whole time it was like riding up and not very comfortable. So I just took it off and decided to just work out in my sports bra. So this sports bra honestly did fantastic during my workout. It held me in pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's the highest support. I was doing a lot of jumping. So I'm out of breath in the beginning of the routine and my, it was flopping a little bit. So this one I would say is more of a medium support bra. So if you're walking or if you're doing more of a low impact workout, it would be perfect. It's so cute. So anyway, I'm gonna drink a little more water and cool off a little bit and then I'm gonna get ready so we can make a couple of trips to maybe TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby. So it's time to just chill. And here's today's workout, just for reference and a Facebook message. 5,312 steps. I didn't have really anything when I started Jazzercise. 60 active minutes. Right before we head out to TJ Maxx, 
I'm hungry. It's almost 10 a.m. I'm going to be having a little bit later lunch because we'll be out and about. I think I'm going to bring kombucha with me, but I'm going to have this protein shake. This is the Aloha in chocolate and sea salt. I actually bought this off of Thrive. They're on a crazy good sale right now. If you guys remember, I talked about the Aloha protein bars in my protein bar video, and they have fantastic ingredients. So I thought I'd give these a try. 170 calories. I did look it up. It is five points. 14, 18 grams of protein. Um, I was gonna see if I could show you guys the ingredient. All right, so here is the ingredients. I think it has, well, it has natural flavors. That's the only thing I don't like, but you're gonna find natural flavors in any flavored protein shake, it doesn't matter. But everything else is amazing. This protein shake even has MCT oil, which is medium chain triglycerides, which are really, really good for you. It's made with coconut sugar, which is literally best in class. So this is the chocolate and sea salt plant-based. I'm going to try this. I hope it's good. I hope, hope, hope. I ordered this one and the coconut. It is organic as well. So don't forget about Thrive. The link down below will get you $20 in free products. So you can even order these for free. So I'm going to try this. Alrighty. Oh, my shirt, you guys, Bones Coffee. These shirts are so cute. They're a little bit fitted, but they're really cute, really comfortable, cute little cap sleeve. So let's try this. Wow. That's really good. That is good. Okay, I taste chocolate. I taste a little bit of the salt, which kind of balances out the chocolate. Doesn't have a plant-based taste at all to me, which is amazing. It's not super sweet, so it's not like the Premier because it's made with coconut sugar and then monk fruit, but it's sweet enough. This would be really good with some espresso, like really good. So I'm gonna have this, and then let's get in the car and go to TJ Maxx. All right, we're at TJ Maxx. I just finished my protein shake. I did bring kombucha with me as well, so I'm gonna bring this in. So I'm gonna do some shopping. I'm after, mainly what I'm after is something for that outdoor patio that I showed you guys, like a plant of some sort for the table, but you never know. You never know. TJ Maxx can be a very dangerous place. <laughs> Man, you guys, everything is so picked over. As soon as they opened up, there was like a race to TJ Maxx. Look at this. This is so weird. Everything is so empty. This may be a total bust. Okay, guys, I think we're done. I have an empty cart. Total fail. Did you guys see how empty the shelves were? That's crazy. When I was here last week, it was so packed with stuff. Like you couldn't even really shop because there was so much stuff. Now this week, there's nothing. Wow, that seriously blows my mind. I'm debating if I wanna go to Hobby Lobby. They also remodeled our Ross recently. So let's see where the rest of the day takes us since that was a total bust. Another empty store. There is a sign though. Hmm. Wow. It's gonna be an interesting shopping day. I may just head home after this. Look at this. What the heck? Look at this, you guys. Yeah, I'm out of here. Well, no money spent today. It's crazy. I'm planning on hitting up Home Goods on Saturday when I'm out in the valley, so. Hopefully they have some stuff. Oh my gosh, is, do your guys' stores look like this? All right guys, here's my lunch. Again, looks pretty darn familiar. This is again, my meal prep. So I have my meatballs for three points, my veggies for one. Today I'm having a couple of the nectarines from my Imperfect Produce box. Love that, I just ordered my next box, you guys. It's so cool to have produce for super affordable delivered to your doorstep. I'll link Imperfect Produce down below. I've got water, so I'm hungry. It's 11.40 and your girl needs some lunch. All right guys, you know what time of day it is, protein shake time. So here it is today, I'm doing this a little bit different. So I have one cup of the almond milk, 
some frozen spinach, a frozen banana, and about a half of a cup of this Wawana Organic, a perfect peach blend. It has pear, peach, pineapple, and blueberry. It's actually really, really good. It's almost gone. I've been using the heck out of it, but I put about a half of a cup of that. I'm going to give this a quick preliminary blend, and then we're going to add in some protein powder, and today we are going to use Tara's Way. All right, so I blended it up just a little bit to leave some room here for Tara's Way. So this is the other protein I really like. This is grass-fed organic whey protein, 21 grams in two scoops. Two scoops is two smart points. So still really, really good. Tara's Way also has fantastic ingredients. So I have two scoops of that added to my protein shake. I'm gonna pop in just a tiny bit of water and then I'll be back to show you the completed shake and give you the smart points. Again, I do buy Tara's Way on Thrive and Thrive is linked below. Alrighty, here she is. Looks really, really good. I really like the Tara's Way blended with this almond milk. Like I've mentioned before, it can have a weird flavor if you blend it with different milks. So you have to be careful when you're choosing the milk to blend with the Tara's Way, but you can't beat 21 grams of protein for two points. So it's two for the protein, one for the almond milk. You guys know I don't count blended fruit. So three smart points. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other You just know how to push all my buttons Moved out of town and I erased your number But still I find myself calling in the middle of the night And there is nothing I can do I am madly drawn to you I know you feel the and cheese is in the instant pot. I have my little Copper Chef air fryer. You guys know I love this thing. I show it all the time. I'll link it down below for you guys. It is the perfect size if you literally just want a quick meal and there's only two people in this house. So with our mac and cheese, we're gonna have chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna do two of the Cola Power New Chick on the Block. I love these, they're one point a piece. And then I have some of these Archer Farm chicken nuggets for my husband. These are delicious, but they're really high. I don't know the points, but they're 220 calories just for four pieces. It's not very many. So I'm going to cook up some of those for him and some of this for me. So there you go. These are mine and they're so good. And then some nuggets for my husband. I just go ahead and cook everything at 400 until it's done. So halfway through, I'll shake it up a little bit. I don't even set the time. I just watch them as they cook. There's my dinner. It looks amazing. So the macaroni and cheese, you can also do a little variation on this. You cannot add the mozzarella to the macaroni and cheese. You can actually add it to the top, throw it under the broiler for a couple minutes and it gets a crispy top. So whatever your preference is, you can also cook this on your stove top. It does not have to be done in an instant pot. So the macaroni and cheese makes eight servings. Each serving is seven smart points, which is not bad at all. That is using the fiber gourmet pasta because it is so low in points. You can have two ounces for two smart points. Regular pasta is two ounces for five to six smart points. So if you sub a different pasta, you'll have to recalculate the points. I will link nutrition down below. That's where I buy my fiber gourmet. Love it. And then I have two of the new chick on the block, call a power nuggets for two smart points. So my dinner is a total of nine points. All right, so here's dessert. I'm gonna do a strawberry Cleo bar. I love these. I showed you guys what these look like on Monday. This is 140 calories, but six points. We talked about that. So this is going to be my dessert. Let me show you my tracker for today. All right, so here is today. So I had 1,858 calories out of 1,000. 
860 so i actually had two extra calories earned 575 calories exercising today so they say that i should have eaten another 900 but i'm good and then or 600 i'm sorry and then for macros i was 29 fat 39 carbs 32 protein I had 152 out of 150 grams of protein, so look at that, three grams over, which is nothing to complain about. I had 183 out of 175, so I was actually over eight grams of carbs, which I'm okay with that as well. And then last but not least, I had 60.4 out of 63 grams of fat, so I actually had 2.6 grams left over. So overall, fab you less day and now let's take a look at the weight watchers app all right so here is my weight watchers app so i used 40 out of 34 points so i'm actually over by six points looks like my breakfast was 10 my lunch was four my dinner was 15 and my snacks were 11. now i want to say i think that some of lunch ended up in snacks but regardless i used 40 out of 34 points so again i was over six points points today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, Thursday. Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. I'm currently sitting outside of Fred Meyer. It's a little after seven in the morning. Man, I'm up early and out and about today. I'm doing some grocery shopping here before I head over to Trader Joe's to grab the rest of my groceries for the week. So I'm up and I'm Adam. I'm going to be picking up my mom and taking her with me to Trader Joe's. She does like to go because she doesn't drive. She's actually never had a license. I know it's kind of weird, uh, but I pick her up and I take her with me, and that way we get to spend a little time together, and she can get her grocery shopping in as well. So, so far today, I've made my coffee using the Chobani Caramel Creamer, and here is my coffee. So I just brought it with me to take grocery shopping. So I also brought a healthy eating all the time and go bar and a banana for breakfast. So when I do eat my breakfast, I'll be back to show that to you guys. So I'm going to head in and do some grocery shopping. All right, guys, I'm out of the grocery store. So I'm going to have some breakfast. I'm going to flip you around and show you what I'm going to be having. It's about eight. I'm picking my mom up at 830 because Trader Joe's is open to anyone under the age of 60 at nine. So that gives us enough time to drive up there from her house. So let me flip you around. I did pick up kombucha at Fred Meyer as well and show you breakfast. So here is the kombucha that I got. You guys know I love the GTs. This is the gingerberry. This is 50 calories. It is three smart points for the whole bottle. I've got a banana. I haven't had a banana just as a banana in so long. That of course is zero points, but 90 calories. And breakfast is the healthy eating all the time and go natural peanut butter, oat bar and chocolate. This is, I have to say my favorite. I love this one and the cranberry, but this one definitely steals my heart. It really truly is my very favorite one. Look at the back of this, you guys, these big chocolate chips. It's kind of like a granola bar consistency. It is delicious. It has fantastic ingredients. The macros are absolutely on point. So this is six. It's either six or seven points. I've always counted these as six points. May It might be seven. Um, and it's 210 calories. So this and the banana is my breakfast. So that means my breakfast was right around 300 without the coffee and the kombucha which is what I like to see. So I'm gonna have breakfast. I do have 12% off for the healthy eating all the time and go bars. It's not an affiliate link. It's simply 12% off for you. Help support a small business. And she's like the nicest person ever. So highly recommend these bars if you're looking for a good clean bar. <laughs> All right, here's today's lunch. This looks awfully familiar. This is actually my last meal prep. So what I have tomorrow, Friday, will be a little bit different. But I did change it up a tad. I have my meal prep veggies for one point, my buffalo chicken meatballs for three points, and then you guys. These are the Trader Joe's patio potato chips. These are so good. They are a mixture of sea salt and vinegar, which is actually one of my favorite chips. Dill, ketchup, and barbecue. Uh, yes, please. They only come out in the summer. They are so good. You can have one ounce, which is what I weighed out here on my food scale. So that is one ounce. Always weigh your chips because not all chips are the same size and you get a little bit more accurate and more chips generally if you weigh it out. This is 140 calories or four smart points. It doesn't have the best ingredients. It does have canola oil and natural flavors, but you know what? Every once in a while, a girl needs some regular potato chips. So I've got a serving of those 
and all my lunch. So it's four for the potato chips, three for the meatballs, one for the veggies. So this is eight smart points total. And of course, I'm gonna grab myself a bottle of water. Guys, long time no talk. We actually ended up having quite the day today. My husband dropped me off to have the window tint on my car replaced. The tint had bubbled quite a bit and we were going to have it replaced before the virus hit and they just reopened. So he dropped me off and my car to have that done. And while we were waiting, we ran over to Harbor Freight to get my husband a jack so he can change the blades on our riding lawnmower. And then we decided while we were waiting for the tip place to call us back, we headed over to a nursery next door to Harbor Freight. $900 later, we have new trees and bushes for our yard. They're going to be delivered and installed, if you want to call it that, planted this week. I can't wait. I'll show you guys in an upcoming video. But that's kind of how my day ended. I ate my lunch at 11. It's now 3.20 and I'm hungry because I haven't had anything to eat at all. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll show you guys what I have for a quick afternoon snack. So I was going to make a protein shake, but it's literally 3.30 and I'm going to start dinner here in about an hour. So I just measured out on my food scale, two servings of the whole milk classic good culture. So basically I don't even know the points. It might be five or six for this, but this is going to give me 28 grams of protein, which is amazing. It's so good and will definitely tide me over until dinner. So it's 200 and 20 calories total. So along with my cottage cheese, I'm going to have a built bar. I just take a look at my macros and calories and I'm pretty low not having that protein shake on my protein. I'm lower than my 120 ish goal. So this will be a great way to get in some protein, not too many carbs, a good source of fat to keep me nice and full. So this is the salted caramel chocolate built bar. I love these. You guys know that. My code here on the screen will give you 10% off. And down in the description box is a special link for those of you that have never had Built Bar for $10 off your first order. They do have some amazing promotions running right now. So definitely go and check them out. This is three points and 110 calories. All right, guys, here's my dinner. I made a barbecue meatloaf with smashed potatoes and carrots. I made this in my Instant Pot. This is part of my meal plan service that I offer over on my Facebook group. So head over there if you're interested in taking part in that meal plan service. But basically I have one slice of the meatloaf. The whole recipe makes six servings, some smashed potatoes. You guys, these are amazing. And some carrots. This whole thing was literally made in my instant pot. Took about a half of an hour. And this entire dinner is only seven smart points on the blue and green program. And only four if you follow purple because your potatoes are pretty much zero points other than the butter. And this is 93.7 ground beef that I use. So yum for dinner. Oh, and then I'm having a Zevia. Right, so for dessert tonight, I'm gonna have a Cleo bar. I was gonna have yogurt, but we've had a busy day and it's already 6.40, so I'm just going to have this vanilla Cleo bar for six smart points, and that's going to round out my day for today. So let me show you my tracker for calories and macros and points. All right, so here's my tracker for today. Budget, 1860. What I actually ate was 17 and 38 calories. So I'm actually under, what is that, 120 calories? That is just fine. And then you can see that it gave me some exercise credit just because we walked around the nursery for so long. I'm almost at 10,000 steps. So you can see everything I tracked here. Breakfast for my healthy eating all the time and go bar. Lunch, I had my meal prep and some of those delicious potato chips. Dinner and my snacks. I had to go back in and change it since I didn't make my protein shake. And then as far as macros go, this is my percentage. It looks good. I'm a low on my protein. So that is pretty low on protein. I like to see a little bit higher. So let's take a look at what I did for protein. So I have 123 out of 150. So at least I hit the 120 grams. My goal, you guys know, is 150, but 120 is not bad. I'll take it, 123. Carbohydrates, 174.5. Look at that, you guys, down 0.5 of a gram. So was a little bit carb heavy, but within my range day today. And last but not least is the fat. If we can get back, there we go. So I was actually 67.4 out of 63, so up 4.4. So that's my day as far as macros go. And again, calories about 120 under. So let's look at WW. All right, so here's the WW app. So today I used 40 out of 34 points. So technically I did get a blue dot. 
So 14 weekly points remaining, which is quite interesting. So the way that we're going, I'll at least be six, if not seven over tomorrow as well. But if you think about it, if I was six or seven over Saturday and Sunday as well, I would have went negative into my weeklies if my standard is between 40 and 43 points. So quite interesting. Now tomorrow is going to be a little weird because we are going out to dinner with some friends. So I'm going to be saving a lot of my points for dinner tomorrow. But that is how we finished out Thursday. All right, guys, that ends Thursday, day four of calories versus points. We have a pattern here, my friends, and we're going to talk about it a little more in depth tomorrow when I finish out this video. So I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I know it's going to be a long one, but lots of good information, and we'll recap everything tomorrow afternoon. So have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow, Friday. Happy Friday. I just finished my virtual workshop. I was going to film a little bit, but I remember her saying that we can't film it or something like that. So I didn't want to get myself in trouble, but I just got into my car to go and film and edit and upload my weigh in video. So that will be up here in just a little bit, which you guys would have seen long before this. But I did want to show you what I brought with me for breakfast because that way I have breakfast snacky type of stuff with me to stay on track. So let me turn you around and show you what I grabbed. So I warmed up one of my little ham and cheese muffins that I've been eating throughout the week. And then I also brought a healthy eating all the time and go bar with me as well, just so that I have this as the second portion of my breakfast gives me a little bit of protein. So technically this is six points and my muffin is five. So that is 11 and then water always water so let's eat breakfast all right we are about to head out we're going to go pick up some new blades for our lawnmower and back to the nursery to do some exchanging we decided not to get one of the trees and we need to buy some additional bushes so it is about 10 20 i'm going to take kombucha with me just to have while we're out and about if we pick up a lunch i'll definitely show you guys that Picking out the bush. So here's what we picked out. That cart. And that. So we decided to stop at Taco Bell for some lunch. We just left Lowe's. It's a little after 12, so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what I ended up getting for lunch. I did the three soft tacos without sour cream. I believe it is just under 600 calories, but I'll let you guys know with a diet drink and a water. So that's what I'm having for lunch. All right guys, I'm at the office for my floor time. I'm gonna flip you guys around really quick and show you what snacks I brought. I probably will eat these because I'm here for about three and a half hours and we're having a late dinner because we are going to dinner with our friends. So what I'm going to do is see if I can find what I'm going to have on the restaurant's website. I'll put in some clips of it. I won't be filming at dinner. I just, we haven't seen them in forever and I just didn't want to be weird and awkward and film at dinner. But I'll put in clips of what I'm having um, after my snacks. And then at the very end, of course, I'll put in my tracker. And then we're going to touch base and talk about how this week went. And yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. It's currently 2.05. So I ended up bringing a bag of the cut up strawberries just because we need to eat these up. And that of course is zero points. I would guess that this is maybe three quarters of a cup of strawberries. And then I just got my 
Belt Bar order in and got the Mint Brownie Delight, which is my favorite Belt Bar. You guys, these are amazing. It tastes like a mint cookie from Girl Scouts or like a grasshopper cookie. And it, this is only a three point bar, but it has 15 grams of protein, six fiber and four fat. So it keeps you full. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. And this is another really good one to nuke for about 10 seconds. And it makes it like an ooey gooey brownie. So I'm going to have this and my strawberries as my afternoon snack. I'll put my code here again for Built Bar. And it of course is down below. So here is today's tracker macros and calories. So out of 1,860 calories, today I had 1,939 calories, which looks like I'm over about 79. Now I'm okay with that because this is the day that I am starting calorie cycling, like I talked about in my weigh-in video. And also this is the day that is one of my higher caloric days. I'd like to be between 23 and 2,500. So I did pretty darn good for a high calorie day. So here are my macro percentages. Now remember, I'm over over by a little under 100 calories. So I have 32% fat, 44% carbs, 24% protein. So definitely a carb heavy day. But you guys have to remember I had Taco Bell and we went out and I had a little over half of a calzone. So for today, I had 119.7 out of 150 grams of protein. So I was short about 30. Now I did have a decent amount of protein, but you're going to see that the carbs for today is definitely a lot higher. Look at that. 217.5 out of 175. So I'm over in my carbs by 42 and a half, which again, I'm okay with because this is one of those days that is kind of my splurge. I, I enjoyed my lunch with my husband and my dinner with my friends. And then for fat, I'm also over, but not too bad. Now you guys, that's not too bad over fat with eating Taco Bell and a calzone, 70.5 out of 63. So that's how my day kind of looks in the Lose It app for calories and macros. So now let's take a look at the WW app. So today I used 55 out of 34 points. So you can see that I've already used 21 points of my weeklies because I get 40 two in a week. So today was definitely a higher point day. My breakfast was actually 14 points with that healthy eating all the time and go bar and the muffin and the coffee. My lunch, it was 17 points for those three soft tacos. That's a lot for those three little soft tacos. And then my dinner actually was 18 points. And that might be a bit low because the restaurant I went to was not in the app, but it was a little more calories than this worked out to be. So it may be closer to about 20 points. And that's eating just a little over half of the calzone. And then my snacks for the day were six. So 55 out of 34 points to round out today. Alrighty guys, that comes to the end of what I eat in a week points versus calories. Now I didn't share tonight's dinner with you because we were with our friends and I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to be having, but you did get to see that in both the Lose It app and the WW app. But I wanted to sit down and kind of close out this video and go over a few key takeaways, a few things that I learned this week, tracking points versus calories. Number one, I learned that staying within my caloric goal is a lot easier than and staying within my points goal. I also found that every single day in order to meet my caloric goal, I was over my points between six and 10 smart points. A little bit more on today where I decided to use the rest of my weeklies or my weeklies or the day that I generally will use those extra points. I usually limit that to one or two days during the week and then the rest of the days I stay within my calories or my points. So those are a couple of the main takeaways that I got from this little experiment. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to digest because to be honest with you, being within my caloric goal is the most important thing to me. By under eating for a long period of time, yes, you're going to lose weight, but you're going to do irreversible or sometimes irreversible damage to your metabolism. And I don't want to do that. And I've realized over this week and over the last few months of transitioning to this clean approach to the program, that what's most important to me is 
to remember this is a journey, not a race. And I'm not focused on the number that I lose every week. I'm okay if I lose a little more slowly, if I maintain my metabolism, or in some cases boost my metabolism with all of the extra exercise that I'm doing and eating a little bit of extra calories here and there really keeps my body guessing and can contribute to boosting my metabolism. So I've realized that for sure this week just kind of solidified that for me, but I've known that over the last few months of this clean approach to the program. So what am I going to do with that information? I don't know. I don't have a final answer yet. I don't know where I'm going to go moving forward, what I'm going to do moving forward. There's still a lot to think about, a lot to contemplate, a little more trial and error that I want to put in. But I'm glad I did this and I'm glad that I tracked, double tracked for the week. And honestly, you guys, those people that tell you it's a ton of work, it literally took me an extra five minutes to put it into the WW app after I put it in the Lose It app or vice versa, wherever you track first. It basically took me an extra five minutes, which is well worth it to me to make sure that I'm eating where I need to be eating. I really want to take a closer look at my macros and decide where I want to focus there. There's just a lot that I still have to think about. So as of right now, I don't know what this means moving forward as far as even WW or calories or whatever. But right now, I'm happy that I did this experiment. I'm happy to share this with you. I hope that you enjoyed this super long video and you had some fun takeaways from it as well. And maybe some things to think about on your journey. So let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in more of these what I eat in a week points versus calories. Let me know if you would. I'd be happy to do them. It was pretty fun filming them. And also, if you made it to the end of this video over an hour crazy. I'm glad it ended up that way though. It was super fun to make and edit and I hope you guys super, super enjoyed it. If you made it to the end, leave a gold star emoji because you, my friend, are the MVP who deserves a gold star. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a ton of fun videos. I upload most days of the week, so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and clicking your bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy my channel, give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you came away with some great information. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.